Hey, what's up guys, I'm from BSC Tech. Today's video is about downloading uh, a third party Android Play Store on your Huawei's uh, smartphones. Today we have uh, a PSmart 2021 uh, with the app gallery pre-installed on this device. So let's jump into the final result before I can show you how you can do this. Uh, as you can see that we have uh, a Play Store installed on this device uh, with Google Apps. For example, Waze is there. WhatsApp is there and they are working absolutely fine. Uh, before moving forward, let me tell you two things which you should consider before uh, you go in for this installation. Uh, if you keep running this app in the background, this is going to drain your battery on a very big scale. The second thing is you cannot export these apps to your Android uh, main screen, for example, uh, on this side. So as you can see that uh, we have an app here. Here we are going to do is uh, do a factory reset and uh, we will install this uh, from the start so guys uh, the device is reset we will open Huawei browser and from here we will type vmos on uh, the search bar and as soon as you land on this page which is a vmos virtual uh, uh, platform website you can see there are two tabs here first one is vmos pro download and the second one is vmos download you click on the vmos pro download and wait for the APK to be downloaded. So the app is uh, finally downloaded. As you can see, we will go ahead and uh, click on the installation button and wait for the app uh, installation to be finished. As you can see unknown source installation source browser getting ready check for updates and don't ask me again click on allow and then it will ask for these 11 permissions which you can check and as you can see once the app is installed we have to go through the basic process fairly simple and straightforward enter vms pro once you are on this page uh, you have to check this box which says draw over other apps so once you click on yes then you have to go back on this page and allow one time all these settings and from here you can see there are three versions the one is uh, 5.1 and then we have 7.1 on a 64 bit and then 4.4 uh, this one in the middle is basically a root expose you have to go for 7.1 and uh, click on this link if it doesn't work for the first time don't worry sometimes their server is very slow so then you have to wait for the installation process uh, for the rom to install itself so guys uh, finally the rom is installed on your device and as you can see we have a beautifully designed android uh, uh, boot up logo and after a few moments uh, the rom will boot up itself and you will see the main interface from there we have to complete few more steps in order to move towards the next step so here we have this android logo we have to shut down and i know and then we have to come back on this page again uh, the boot up will start one more time and uh, if you ever face any problem while booting up just click on this icon and shut down the app now we are in the main interface guys and as you can see that uh, we are on the main page here we have to go into the vm settings couple of uh, options here you have to click uh, google services and then click on confirm then it will start installing uh, the google services once complete you have to come back here and then you have to click on uh, background keep alive uh, this will basically let your virtual machine run in the background even if you minimize this so if you start getting any kind of notifications for example whatsapp or waze or any other uh, Google services then you can definitely uh, get notified while you are running this so once you are back on this page you can click on the Play Store and uh, it's just like uh, any other Play Store on your Android device here you have to use your Google account details in order to sign in so we have added our Google account details and now we are going to launch uh, the Play Store sometimes the uh, Google Play Store uh, is basically updating itself in the background so you can always uh, come back and uh, reopen it here we have uh, uh, WhatsApp which basically you can download directly from their website you don't need to come here basically you are on this page in order to download those apps which you don't normally find 
on a third party platform so guys we are now downloading whatsapp and uh, also we can look at ways which we are going to download and install so friends we have installed uh, whatsapp and ways on uh, this virtual machine as you can see that uh, we have these two apps uh, on this desktop if you open play store and you scroll down uh, you can download anything from here it's exactly the same uh, way you were downloading previously using your android smartphone through the play store just remember three things uh, you might experience some sort of uh, crash or lags when you use uh, apps downloaded from third parties especially when you're using with a virtual machine like this second thing is uh, you'll see random reboots on this app uh, might ask you for updates and the third thing is uh, it's a virtual machine is running in the background so you might experience extra battery drain so that was it for today's video guys i hope uh, you have enjoyed it if you have any feedback or comments please share with us do let us know what you think about uh, this third party uh, platform and uh, take good care of yourself have a good day bye bye